I am David Denham, pastor for Tree of Life United Church of Christ. We're a Zoom Church of Troublemakers. Lead for Represent Us, Virginia, getting big money out of politics, and lead for the Southwest Virginia Poor People's Campaign. The Southwest Virginia Poor People's Campaign is part of the state and national Poor People's Campaign Network, rooted in its founding in 1968 by the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr. In these pandemic times, the poverty rate has risen to 50%, 50%, while the wealth for the 1% rises and rises. Roanoke Gas represents the 1%. The big corporate interests of MPP, also representing 1%, the 1%, will devastate homes of people in poverty along its path. Roanoke Gas will invest $112 million over 20 years into MVP, which will keep on their investment and in keeping people in poverty. On top of that, Roanoke Gas will increase its charge to customers, they say, for the winter weather. But paying for this $112 million looms as the real cost on their mind. Who does this increase impact most? The nearly 150% of those in poverty right here in Roanoke. The Roanoke Times in 2017 posted the results of a Harvard study that showed that a child in Roanoke has among the least opportunity in our country to rise out of that poverty. Roanoke Gas we have a problem in Roanoke that you are contributing to. And if people would like to learn more about the Roanoke problem in light of national urban renewal history, this book, Root Shock, will tell it to you. And Roanoke is one of the three featured cities. The Southwest Virginia Poor People's Campaign calls upon Roanoke Gas to develop a plan that does not upcharge the charges to customers in poverty who live in stricken neighborhoods. The Southwest Virginia Poor People's Campaign calls upon Roanoke Gas to develop a plan that does not cut off gas to customers who are in poverty. The Southwest Virginia Poor People's Campaign calls upon the Roanoke Gas Company Board of Directors to personally examine how they can contribute to keeping these rates from rising. Mary Ellen Goodlatte and her husband Bob are worth over $5 million. This is an example of the capacity for the board to be proactive that is keeping people in poverty. The Southwest Virginia Poor People's Campaign, in its holy time leading to Passover and Easter, calls upon Roanoke Gas to let compassion rise in their decision making.